Chet and Bernie have changed over the course of this series, which is now four books long, um, in ways that were not really thought out by me specifically. They developed a real relationship that, although it only ex exists really on the page, changed as though they were real living characters. And I think they both learned to love each other and trust each other even more than they did in the beginning through just the success and hardships they've had in solving some of their cases. Chet is capable of suffering. He, he endures sometimes some very harsh things. The Chet and Bernie mysteries are not cozies. He, en he endures, he suffers, he feels pain. But what Chet does is he bounces back quite quickly. He's not an idiot by any means. Now, I have to point out that Chet is not a talking dog or anything like that. He's not a human in a dog suit. He's a real dog in every way. But he, so it's his narrative that's on the page. But Chet bounces back from adversity quickly and tends to reset at a position in life of optimism. Well, I myself have never done anything criminal. There was a speeding ticket in New Hampshire at one, one on a ski trip, but everybody gets a, a speeding ticket in New Hampshire on a, on a ski trip. You know, I think when you're writing from a criminal point of view, you're really using your imagination to, first of all, identify the moral weakness that will allow someone to behave like that. And then second, you attach onto that whatever the logical sequence of what they would do is. I mean, you know, they, it's, it, you can have a lot of fun with it. I do some research into um, crime solving techniques, but really not a whole lot because what I'm interested in, in terms of solving crimes, is much more the psychological than the forensic. When I began this series, I was asked by Atria, my publisher, whether I'd be interested in doing some social media. It's become, it's, it's been a wonderful thing. Uh, the blog, we have a blog, chetthedog.com, and there's a, a new entry pretty much every day, usually written in the voice of Chet, but there are other characters on the blog, and, and that's become, you know, something that I entertain myself with every morning when I write, write the post. Around chetthedog.com, a whole internet community has, a digital community has arisen of people who from all they're actually from all over the world and they have they comment every day many of them and they have uh, just a world that's sort of built around love of the Chet and Bernie books but they share all sorts of things about their lives and it's been wonderfully rewarding.